Hi, I'm Ned Ned Nerb, the schizophrenic. This is day 27 of 100 symptoms. Today I'm going to talk about compassion and being over-concerned to a potentially harmful degree. I include it as a symptom of schizophrenia because it was imprinted when I first went to the hospital and a nurse suggested that many teen males she had known made her feel schizophrenia was primarily a disease based in compassion. It was definitely her observation that many young schizophrenics seemed to be carrying a large burden of compassion and concern about changing the world, such as care about the environment, diversity, and peace of organisms. On the recent pass by of Earth Day, it is definite that compassion in the land is needed and some individuals are profiting selfishly by controlling large groups. And many people don't realize how important it is that we take a proactive response to the threat of climate disorder. That said, most people don't realize they need information, they need help, and nearly all of us need to grow our compassion and knowledge. Some of us are overburdened with the existence of compassion and a perceived lack of ability to act on it. People experiencing psychosis often feel trapped in overconcern. I remember wanting to scream. I once did walk down the middle of the street with a sign asking for $15 an hour minimum wage. It was a four lane road and I did this in the middle of morning rush hour. I was thinking primarily of all people in similar situations to myself. I was dealing with disability and uninspiring employment prospects, which were regulated within a toxic culture with disturbed history and traditions. I felt at a high level, healing all of civilization was my central concern and target. Somehow being a madman walking in the middle of traffic, scaring normal people, turned out to be how I expressed my concern. That's why I call it over-concern. I definitely believe that compassion and concern are a good thing to encourage, but I encourage you to be gentle and talk openly to others, which will usually verify that many of your friends and acquaintances feel similarly to you already. They also wish for more compassion in the land, or at least would agree given the choice of yes or no that they would just opt for peace rather than more terror. I think that's an important realization for someone experiencing the isolation, the preoccupation, and the mania of psychotic episodes. Hopefully we can encourage calmness and reactivity to messages from the society around us. Many schizophrenics lose touch and behave strangely which much of the stereotypes emphasize. But it is true that if you don't talk about compassion and expected behaviors as a group, both sides of the ecological conversation will be stunted and less aware. We'll be less mutually aware of both the hope and the suffering in the world and self. Opening up about our compassion, we will probably first increase the hope and then reduce the suffering and not vice versa. Isolation and a lack of social support, that will reduce hope and increase suffering. We can avoid some of that working together. Thanks for watching. Ask any questions in the comments below. Please subscribe and share. Thanks. This has been Ned Ned Nurb the Schizophrenic with day 27 of 100 symptoms.